Hey guys, for this let you know pretty quick that Google Chrome beta has been updated to version 10, or to be exact, it's version 10.0.648.82. So I thought I'd just make a very quick video here and talk a little bit about it, because there are some pretty cool things that's coming in this version, and some things that Google have improved. So if you aren't a Google Chrome user yet, you know, please tell me why. You know, try it out for a week or so, try it out for a month, and I promise you, you will love it. I mean, I, I have been going from Internet Explorer to Firefox, and now I'm a Chrome user. And I love Chrome, I'm never going to switch browser, you know, because they're updating it all the time. So, let's talk a little bit about the new things that will, or that is in this new Google Chrome 10 beta. So the first thing, and the most important thing, is that they updated their JavaScript engine, and it's their V8 crankshaft JavaScript engine, and they've also added the GPU accelerated video. But first, let's talk a little bit about the JavaScript engine. So, what they have made in this update, in this V8 release, is that the performance have been increased 66% comparing to the current stable version. Isn't that sick? Yes, it is. It's kind of sick. And I'm going to quote Google from their own Google Chrome blog, where they say that their new JavaScript engine, it's it's quick as a bunny. It's quick as a bunny. And they made a little V8 benchmark suit test here in version 6. And as you see, in Google Chrome 9, you get around 4,000 points. And then you have this Chrome 10, and you will see, like, it almost gets 8,000 points. I mean, that's a 65% increase. And that, my friends, you know, it, it, it's crazy. I'm not sure how Google engineers are doing it all the time, but that they are continuously improving their software. That's why I'm a Chrome user. I started to use Chrome, I think it was in Chrome 6, maybe even Chrome 5. But as you see, they are already at Chrome 10. Actually, 11, but that's a thing I'm not going to talk in this video about. Because now we talk about Google Chrome 10. So, as I said, this GPU accelerated video is the thing that they are trying out. So, what that basically means is that you, if you have a good GPU that is supported, that means that, let's say you are using Google Chrome, or this is only for full screen, but if you're using Google Chrome full screen, you may see a little CPU decrease that Google Chrome isn't using as much CPU longer because more is taken up on or Google Chrome is taking up some on your GPU instead of everything on the CPU so you understand so that is good two new awesome features there oh I got a new message yeah whatever then we have a very cool thing that I've already seen and that is that this new settings window or actually, when you go to settings right now, you get this new kind of window, and I'm running on the stable release right now. But in this new Google Chrome beta, this new browser settings, they are going to be opened up in a new tab instead. And I'm, I'm unsure how they're doing this, but I hate this little window that, you know, pops up. I hate it, because I can, okay, I can do other things, but I just hate it, you know. So it's good, because we're no longer going to see that window, because that window is going to be a new tab. So you will be doing everything inside of a tab, and not a new window. And I hate windows, because they remind me so much about the Internet Explorer, that browser. I hate it. And the good thing that your settings is being opened up in a new tab is that you could quickly access them by just typing in the URL to the settings page and I think that is chrome forward chrome slash slash settings advanced and there you go so kind of cool actually I love it and then also this thing that they're adding passwords to the syncing list so let's say you have a Google account and let's say you have Google Chrome installed on multiple computers and then you could easily sync your passwords so that's kind of good because you no longer have to you know remember your password as long as you remember your Gmail password so that's kind of Good. And then we have one, also one of my favorites, is that you could now use web apps in the background. So, I'm not quite sure how this works, but I think it works like, let's say you have a web app, let's say you have the web app TweetDeck, and let's say you close it down, then you could still have it open up, 
because it will be able to run in the background with this new feature so that's kind of cool I mean it's some epic things that is coming to the stable pretty soon but if you want to go ahead and try out the Google Chrome 10 beta right now then I will leave a little down link in the description and if you like the video please go to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye